this demonstration, I'm going to take you through the new import PMI project that was done in 1953. You'll see that there's a user-defined model view containing 29 PMI objects in this uh, NX PAR file. You'll see things like background fill, cross-highlighting, so common behavior that are available in NX PMI today. Parallel to screen, update reading direction, these are all things that, uh, once again, that are available in the context of NXPMI. I'm now going to, um, actually, if I identify the feature control frame, you'll see that in the details pane, we can see all the parameters also. I'm now going to go in and open the same file up as a JD file to take a look at the, uh, the new import. As we import this JT file, you'll see that the model views are intact. In this case, the, the user-defined model view is available to us. And all of the PMI have come in, all 29 objects. You'll notice that the word imported has been added to the PMI name uh, to represent that this is imported PMI. Same behavior, the same uh, parameters, the same graphical display is available on import also. Cross-highlighting, associative objects, background, including things like Parallel to screen display is available and update reading direction. So that common behavior that you know and enjoy in the context of NXPMI are also available here with this imported PMI. 